Greetings all, Ferrari Man 601 here. You are not hallucinating. This is not a Seto Corsa or any racing sim. This is FSX Flight Simulator 10 on Steam. And we are in an F-18 landed right now at McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is an open online lobby. It is every man for himself. There is no enforced ATC. Um, I'm going to be announcing my position and stuff on the radio, but uh, nobody else is doing that as far as I can tell. And uh, we're just going to fly around a little bit and do some crazy things with this F-18 because it is the middle of the night. And uh, as a raging insomniac, I once again find myself unable to sleep. So here we are in the cockpit. We've got most of our uh, electronics fired up, but uh, nothing else is running at the moment. We'll get the engine started and uh, we'll taxi out to the runway. Right, the engines are coming up. engine started. The right engine will be coming up in the auto start. The left engine looks good. And the right engine's come up. It's also coming down nicely to its idle position. Good stuff. Open the throttles a little bit. And we'll start taxiing out. As it is, every man for himself, and uh, like I mentioned, no rules are being enforced in this session, I'm basically just going to uh, go wherever the hell I please. And I think I'm the only one at this airport right now. Nellis Air Force Base is also in the vicinity, and that's where most of the uh, other players in the session are operating, as you can see the tags there. Taxiway on taxiway. That was a little bit of a drift. <laughs> drift in an F eighteen. A little bit of brakes. Breaks. Approaching two five right. Approaching two five right. Hold short of the runway. We'll do a cross check here. Looks to be clear. And we'll just announce to everybody as a common courtesy. McCarran Tower, Foxtrot six zero one, taking off runway two five right. On runway, two, five, right. Alright, so a couple last minute things we gotta do before we get airborne. We'll check that our flaps are down and we're going to want to unfold the wings. <laughs> Two wings in their locked flight position. Tail hook is up. Launch bar retracted, something we'd only use in a carrier. 
APU off. And no unexpected errors on the caution warning. So let's push it up to full afterburner and away we go. Knots, V1, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. And flaps up. Alright, so there's the Las Vegas strip as you can see. Surrounded by nothing but desolation. Flight Simulator was um, pretty much the first simulation game that I ever played. I uh, started playing flight simulation games, not just uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, but a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, Jane's USAF, I remember, from a long time ago. I was always interested in planes and flying and things like that, and that later turned into an interest in basically anything with an engine. But uh, planes were my first love when it came to technical things. say that uh, on Steam, FSX runs a whole lot better uh, than it ever did as the standalone Windows version because it just, the frame rate as you can see is pretty good even with uh, my screen capture going on. I get a solid 50 frames per second in pretty much every environment, in every weather condition, every time of day, so uh, pretty good. I don't get that at all from the stock standalone version. Not even close, it's juddery as all hell. Over there off to our 3 o'clock, that's Nellis Air Force Base. You can see that's where mostly everybody's flying from. And you see the speed on this thing already. Over 700 knots, 14,000 feet, climbing at almost 20,000 feet per minute. nice conditions for flying. Let's see, aircraft types down there, there's a B-1, there's a CRJ-700, and there's an R-22 helicopter at Nellis right now. Quick horizon scan, I don't see anybody else near me in the air. There's a Eurofighter and 737 out in the distance. All in all, not much to see out here in the middle of the Nevada desert. Lake Mead. Fly along the river, eventually we'll find the Grand Canyon in Arizona. I don't feel like flying that far. Another F-18 down there, 4,500 feet, with this smoke on. Just loving the visuals, to be honest. Nice sounds, little uh, clatters and bangs from the aircraft as it gets buffeted by some of these winds. Lone 
only roads cutting through the middle of no place in particular. sort of structure down there. 12 o'clock. Let's have a look. Getting some turbulence, um, probably thermals. Just a whole bunch of uh, essentially dry lake bed here. really low and slow now. Video check. Copy you on a radio check. Good check. Four by five is twelve. I can't quite hear it yet. You hear it right now. Got some cars on the road here. Nice detail. Yeah. I mean, it's rudimentary by uh, standards of a lot of games, particularly console games, but, uh, you know, for a flight simulator where we're used to not seeing this kind of thing, it's uh, not too bad. There's someone there, I think it may have cleared up.
Las Vegas. And there's Nellis. Just skimming the bottoms of these upper level cirrus clouds. Nice visuals. Very, very nice. We're gonna go into a steep dive and get ourselves in whatever pattern there is at Nellis. Crosswinds coming down from the jet stream. Traffic Foxtrot 601 type F18 on final runway 22, runway 21 right to land. So I've announced my intentions, and uh, I see somebody on the opposite end of the runway, hopefully taking off and hopefully aware of my position. I'll turn my smoke on so that there's a better chance of him spotting me from where he is. I may have to go into a go-around situation. Traffic 601 going around. to get your bearings through the clouds. Now that guy that was on the runway is... Yep, he took off. Of course he did. This track make Airbus 295. Come in. Runway 3 left. Full stop. Now let's track. That's what they've 
collectively decided the active runway is why don't we try it on over three right Nellis traffic, Foxtrot 601 on the upwind for landing runway 3 right. Shots of the Vegas Strip, the Karen. traffic, Foxtrot 601 on final runway 3 right. Stable, I don't traffic know. Airless, it's gonna be fine. Downwind, three left, full stop. Yep, let's run. My lineup is horrible. And main gear. And nose gear. Correction, speed brakes. now. Just a little bit. 4,000 feet Airbus remaining. Five. Speed brakes left retract. Left. Yeah, 3,000 feet remaining. Just rolling out to the next taxiway. Two 
2,000 feet remaining. One thousand feet remaining. Bus traffic. Airbus two ninety five. Flash three left. Full stop. Nels traffic. Nellis traffic 601 is clear of the runway. And that's about it. We'll go ahead and park it up over here. stop parking brake applied and we'll bring our flaps up flaps are up let's fold up the wings that's the uh, tail hook fold up the wings there very cool don't need the hydraulics or anything else. Shut the engines down. Open the canopy. Engines are spooled down and temperatures look good. Started the APU. generators. And that be it. Nothing untoward happened. It's a B1 maybe wanting to take off. Not quite sure what his intentions are. But anyway, yep, that's a look at uh, FSX on Steam in an open lobby with uh, some people doing all kinds of crazy things. However, uh, I just was not quite in the mood for that. There's that B1, I think, getting ready to take off. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we're not going to stick around and watch that. For what it's worth, thank you very much for watching. This is what insomnia yields in the middle of the night when I'm not quite up to doing any sort of hot laps in a Corsa. So, thank you very much.